Hey guys, my name is SickabeeOT1, and welcome back to Pokemon White. This series is made in memory of Brian, aka I can't be gone. No more excuses. We are going to do the Elite Four rematches today. All five battles. There's nothing that interrupts the champion battle this time. Doing it all in one run. Here is what I've got. I have been grinding at the Nimbasa Stadiums for the past week. And I've gotten everybody up to level 71. Um, it might be a little overkill. Like, I've seen people just try it right under 70, but... Yeah, we're gonna be seeing everybody from the low to high 70s throughout this, so... Oh, wait, why is, why is Ed carrying this? Um... Ed has the lucky egg still. Let me get rid of that for him. Uh... <clears throat> take that. Um, here's what I'm going into this with. I'm gonna give a Miracle Seed to Ed. I am very prepared. Um... I just gotta get the Miracle Seed going, and if I think I'm gonna need... <laughs> you're gonna need Acrobatics more, then I'll get that. Miracle Seed, here we go. So this is who I'm going into this match with. I have not really changed... ...movesets at all, but we're just gonna go over this. Add the Simi Sage, Shadow Claw, Flash, Acrobatics, Seed Bomb. Red, the Aria, not Aria Dose, the, uh, Galvantula. Red, the Galvantula, Bug Buzz, Thunderbolt, X Scissor, Thunder Wave. Victoria, the Jellicent, Shadow Ball, Blizzard, Surf, and Waterfall. Adriana, the Excadrill, Rock Slide, Metal Claw, Earthquake, Swords Dance. Drake the Embor, Brick Break Strength, Flamethrower, Head Smash. Toot the Sigilyph, Cosmic Power, Air Slash, Fly, and Psychic. I kind of wish I had something to replace Cosmic Power with, but I never really figured that out. Okay. You know the drill. Beat the Elite Four and the Champion, and then you're good to go. And yes, you have to fight them all again to fight the Champion. I forget who is where, and I want to start with Grimsley. Um, Northwest is the one who mastered Dark Type, so. Northwest. So that's right here. I'm gonna fight Grimsley first. I am leading out with Ed. Because I think that Ed is not going to. It's gonna be situationally useful. Everybody else has more of a foothold in trying to get through this team. I. I just. I'm using a walkthrough so that I know what each of them is going to lead out with. So I can optimize everything. I've got a lot of items. I've been really nervous about this, okay? Hopefully I'm not underleveled. Here we go. Life is a serious battle, and you have to use the tools you're given. It's more important to master the cards you're holding than to complain about the ones your opponents were dealt. Let us begin, and may the best trainer win. Contests like these are proof that you are really living. So you say... <sighs> Grimsley, I love you. <laughs> Gundam. Gundam-ass voice. I should have given you that. Everybody's gonna have a full team. And he's gonna lead out with Sharpedo, and that is why I'm leading out with Ed. Because Ed's gonna be super effective against the Sharpedo, and also is going to be able to attack without contact, because the Sharpedo has rough skin. I think this should be able to one-shot. Especially with that Miracle Seed. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, Scrafty. Um, Ed is not the best for this. I'm gonna keep Victoria out of this. Toot as well. Uh, what's Scrafty got? Anything that's dangerous to Ed? I mean, he's got Poison Jab, but he's also- But I meant to say Drake. Alright, Drake, let's go. Drake might be the MVP of this. All right, break, break. We just we just want to get through these as carefully as possible, I suppose. We got max revive. Say, oh, okay, head smash. That's maybe you're gonna kill yourself. No, you're not gonna kill yourself for group power damage. You use the move here. It's good. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's it's too late to give Grimsley a, a Gundam voice. I'm sorry, Otto, if you're watching this. <clears throat> Getting tingles. This is almost over. This is not going to be the final episode because I'm going to have all their stuff to do after this. 
Okay, I did not force Grimsley to use the second full restore, just the first one. Alright. What's next? Crocodile. Edgy, I'm bringing you back out. And I'm dropping hand cream on the floor. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, Crocodile. We know what to do with Crocodile. Oh yeah, Intimidate. Hopefully, that boost from the Miracle Seed will be enough to make up the difference. Does this thing have anything that is dangerous to Ed? Oh, this has foul play. Really foul play on this thing. It's a bit counterproductive considering it does more damage to a, an opponent with a higher attack stat. Is that affected? I assume that's affected by stat changes. B sharp, definitely bring back Drake. Just gonna be the Ed and Drake show for this. And don't even get me started on that fighting type Marshall, fighting type guy. I'm recording this on Valentine's Day. It's gonna come out long after Valentine's Day. <sighs> but it's been it's been all working up to this. Super Bowl just happened yesterday. This friend of mine, Sonic Kitsune, who does this thing every year where he streams four different old football games in a simulation of like the teams that are playing that Super Bowl the night before to predict who's gonna win and it was a tie and who I mean, it was a tie like they each won two games the Rams and the Bengals but the Rams would win by more when they did win so there's that and then there's this the Super Nintendo Madden game that he was using posts abnormally high scores. Like when the AI plays against itself, it is normal for one of the teams to get up to 100 points. Whereas I don't think that's very common in the NFL, if it's even happened. Well, I've never withdrawn from any battles. You're not the type to rage quit. You, I, I definitely buy that from Grimsley. I do. Alright. Rapion. I don't know if I've really talked about this, but I really like Drapion. It's just kind of... it's a bug type thing. Not a bug. If someone wins, the person who fought against that person will lose. That's battle. A good contender just seeks the next victory without bragging of after winning and without getting upset after losing. Yeah, that's... that's that definitely sounds like Grimsley to me. There are bad ways to win and good ways to lose. What's interesting and troubling is that it's not always clear which is which. A flipped coin doesn't land heads or tails. Sometimes it may never land at all. I... I... say that's BS. I think that does happen, I think, always. Okay. Um... From here on out, I guess I'm just gonna let fate dictate who I fight, because I don't remember who's here. Okay, Marshall. And who does Marshall lead out with? Marsh... okay. I know who to send out. I'm gonna use Toot, and I'm also gonna heal. I have to heal. Don't forget to heal, buddy boy, buddy, buddy, buddy boy. Girl. Um, start with hyper potions, I suppose. Didn't completely heal Drake. But that's okay. Alright. Up here we go. I probably should give Toot a sharp beak. Even though Toot does not have a beak, she can still take advantage of that. Anyone can, if they know any flying-type moves. I don't remember if I've said something like this, but it's kind of weird that three of the Elite Fours are all, like, mystical types, and then you got one who's just pure, pure brawn with Marshall. It's alright. Fighting-type is a common Elite Four member anyway, so let's go for it. I thank you deeply for the chance to, for another round of combat against you. Even myself, I seek to develop my, the strength of a fighter and shatter any weakness in myself, prevailing with the force of my convictions. Victory, divisive, decisive victory is my intention. Challenger, here I come. Well, you're an Elite Four member, so your purpose is to lose, I am sorry to say. Oh boy, I so rarely get to these Elite Four rematches, so it's just tingles all around when I do get to them. And yes, he's got Breloom, and that is why I'm sending out Toot to begin with. Again, Toot, Toot is probably going to be the person to turn to for every single one of these guys. Because Psychic, and also Flying, but uh, especially so for Breloom. Breloom can be dangerous. 
This one has Sky Uppercut. That's a dangerous move. Let me sock. You can see his little Bert, Bert, Bert and Ernie. Bert and Bernie. I think it's Bert and Ernie. Because Ert's not really much of a name now, is it? Oh! Okay, oh. Mm, this might... This has made things very difficult. Oh, boy. Ooh, strong as usual. That made my heart dance. Well... Yeah. I'm gonna be able to get you this one. Like, I'm faster than you. It's... It's gonna happen. I'm like... Your choice is, you know, it either one-shots you, and it doesn't. I guess it was already leaning toward the strong end of the spectrum there. Uh, okay, let's see. What should I do next? Conkelder. Conkelder. Probably also got some rock-type moves. Hmm. Let's go with red. I know Toot is probably also the best choice for this, but I have the feeling that uh, one Psychic is not going to kill Kunk Elder. This is also a wrong choice, because Red is also weak to rocks. <sighs> but we'll make the most of this. We'll make the most of this. Um, yep, Stone Edge. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Should've used Thunder Wave. Got it. I got it. But I'm mostly using it for, you know, stuff. Can, can I can I remember what words I want to say? It's legendaries. One legendary in this case. The one where they're going to end the game on, basically. Surf, come on, come on. Excuse me. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Okay. Victoria, come on. Victoria, thank you. All right, we can we can take down Kung Gilder. Thank God. Thank God. Next up, throw. I'm gonna throw Drake into there. Take care of this. Actually, Drake might be in trouble because this throw has Earthquake. But I just gotta hope that... Uh... Or could use Retaliate, I guess. But you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to... Heal Toot, because Toot is really who I need for the rest of this battle. And if you used Earthquake. If you sur he might not survive, because Earthquake is... Like, oh. Hell yeah, you tank that. Let's go for Flamethrower. Come on. Not even half. Okay. Well, that's okay, because Toot is gonna carry us to the rest. I mean, it's weird. You, th you never think of the fighting type Elite Four as being all that difficult. I always considered with Bruno in Gen 2 and... No, Bruno was in Gen 1 and 2, actually. I always considered Bruno pretty easy. Um, I think it's just him and Marshall, actually. Unless there's some from the, the later games that I forget. I don't quite remember the Elite Fours of, like, Gen 6 and 7. Mean Shao. Because this means Shao is gonna have payback or some kind of dark type move. Let us fake out, that's for certain. Whatever. Fake out is just whatever. Like cool, you you took off like 30 HP and you made me flinch. Good for you. <laughs> Alright. First level up of the challenge, nice. Toxicroak. Yeah, he he's deliberately saving this one for last, because we can just decimate him. Yeah, we, you already know what I have. The last one. I'll use my last bit of... The last bit of strength. I really wish that these text messages would just go by slower so that anybody could read them. The Toxic Ghost not arriving. That is a quad weakness. And I'm gonna use an Aether on its Psychic when we get out of here. There is no strongest Pokemon or single best combination, so there are no guarantees of winning. But the determination to be strong and to continue to grow and to improve is in itself great strength. That's the determination that makes you show... Makes me respect you. Something like that. Something like that is what he said. Mm hmm There are still many strong trainers in this Pokemon League. You should deepen your bonds with your Pokemon by battling with them. And I should heal up. I'm gonna start with a Max Aether on Toots Psychic. And then we're going to revive 
I'm not going to use my max revives yet. This is not alphabetical order. Let's, let's just change that. This is still not alphabetical order. How do I sort this alphabetically? It looks like I can't. I want to sort it alphabetically so that I know where everything is. Um... Okay, no, X just closes that. I was touching that green thing there. This is going well. How many max revives do I have? I got a few from... I got a couple from trainers in the... in the Nimbasa... stadiums. Can I talk? I obviously cannot talk. Yes, and Nimbasa is what I meant. Even as I was saying it, I was thinking, is Nimbasa correct? Is that what's going on? I'm not going to use a Hyper Potion on Victoria because she is under 200 in terms of the amount that she needs. Let's use a Max Potion instead. Okay. Alright, so we have Chantal and Caitlyn left. I guess I fought the boys first and the girls last. That was not intentional. Uh, okay. Is this Chantal or Caitlyn? Whichever one it is, I'm going to... Okay, it's Caitlyn. And Caitlyn... Leads out with that. Okay. Okay, she's a Psychic-type trainer, so we are going to... Probably lean heavily on Red here. And maybe also Victoria. But first, I'm just going to start with Red. Just because... Psychic types tend to have weaker physical defense. And red can definitely whittle down with an X scissor or two. Okay, here we go. Who's there? Who is so uncouth as to disturb my sleep? <laughs> it's you again. Still, you possess that combination of kindness and strength. Yet you seem stronger than before. Do not do be sure not to bore me with a snooze inducing battle, is that clear? I didn't last time, did I? I had some interesting battles last time. Alright. Maybe not with that Musharna as always. We love the Musharna. Now, Caitlyn's signature, like her highest level Pokemon, has changed. It is now something pre-Gen 5. It's also pre-Gen 4, but I'm not spoilers. Not that it really matters, because this game is a decade old. Okay, okay. This thing has Dream Eater. A wonderful time is about to start. I like this moment. It has Dream Eater, so I think it is worth it to try to get you... ...awake as soon as possible. Um... I do have a couple Awakenings that somehow stayed in my inventory for the whole game. Alright, so you're gonna use Dream Eater, and it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna use x Scissor, and it's gonna work. Alright. What are we up against next? She's probably going to send out... I think I have an idea what she's going to send out. Metagross. This already, huh? Okay. I'm worried about this. I really am. But... Eh. I mean, like, even... Even Excadrill is really playing with fire because this thing has Earthquake. But what else can I do? Really. Like, Isabella from Encanto. Encanto's really good. It's not just, like, the memes and the hype of the songs. No, it's a good movie. This is her new ace, by the way. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Oh my god. I... That's... That is a huge burden off my shoulders. I was really worried about that Metagross. I was really worried about that. And we got our Uniclus to deal with. And I think Red should do just nicely against this. We got more Jelly Baby ahead of us. Look at the jelly baby. Yeah. Still slow as hell, and I can excisor it. Probably pretty defensive as well. Yeah. Just gotta use Psychic because every I resist everything else because I know Thunder or Energy Ball and Focus Blast. Red resists all those things, baby! <laughs> Alright. Way to go, Red. Way to go, Red. You did good. You got Sigilyph. And I think I'm going to give Red a rest, switch out for Victoria. Alright. Trusty water by my side to make sure that I don't get dehydrated. 
Let's go for the blizzard. I've gotten really lucky with the blizzards, I think. Also, Sigilip is fast. It's a flying type, so that should be a given. Alright, go for the go for this blizzard. I don't get stabbed, but it is a more powerful move than Shadow Ball, so I think that'll help. I will survive the next thing Sigilip throws at me unless it's a crit. And saying that, I probably just jinxed myself. Okay, nope. <laughs> okay. They say jinxing isn't real, but then then it happens. You know, you know. Gothitelle. I think Gothitelle is not that fast, so I think Victoria should be able to outspeed it. Shadow Ball, let's go. Alright, that's what I thought. Okay. Super effective, special defense gone. You have Thunderbolt for some reason. Okay, yep, that's that's Victoria dead, I'm sorry. That's okay, though. That's okay, because I think Red should be able to finish her off. Yeah, this, this fight is going a lot more smoothly than Marshall, I'm happy to say. I'll use Bug Buzz and take advantage of that Lord Special Defense. There we go. And then... Her last Pokémon is Bronzong. Now, it has the same type combination as Metagross, but it has Levitate. So, using Excadrill is not really going to work. And also, this is pre-Gen 6, while Bronzong still had resist- still... I will stay cool and collected, even though this isn't going well. Train of thought. This is before Gen 6, when Steel lost its resistance to Darkened Ghost, so no matter what, a Bronzong is only going to have one weakness. In Generation 6 onward, I don't remember if it's in Sword and Shield, or if it's not, I, I probably not, but then like, it has three weaknesses. Ground can be one of them, because it can also have Heat Proof, which, I mean, having a Heat Proof Bronzong is kind of a waste. It's like a monkey's paw gone wrong. And yeah, I, I know, Psychic, that was, a, that was a risk sending Drake out against this, but, oh, oh boy. Okay. Um, Adrian is the wrong choice. Ed is the wrong choice. Toot is the wrong choice. Okay, we gotta send out Ed. That's the only thing. That's the only party member of mine that can hit it for neutral damage. I will not give up for the sake of my Pokemon that believe in me. Okay. It's probably more specially, de more physically defensive than specially. So either Bug Buzz or Thunderbolt would probably be best. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Hope for the best. Come on, come on. Thank we thank you. <laughs> I am so glad that Red was available to do all that. Alright, I beat her. Well done. As you have always been, or even more than ever, you are an elegant and excellent trainer. Your Pokemon are also have class. I'm very pleased to have battled you. Did she say battled you or knew you or did she say something else entirely because the text went by too quickly? Alas, even with the knowledge and skill passed down in my family of trainers, I still can't win. The reason I came here in the first place was to encounter trainers like you. You're a little less chatty than the men in this place, I guess. You just want to go to sleep, I get that. Sleep is good. Sleep is very good. I'm going to save some of those max revives like as a Hail Mary in case the champion battle goes hairy. And I am worried about the champion battle. I think I am going to save before the champion battle. I'm not going to save before Chantal. Okay, let me figure out what Chantal's leading out with. And then I will try to follow in kind. I... Let's go with Ed. That may sound stupid, but Ed does have Shadow Claw. And speaking of which... Maybe I want to give Ed something that will boost ghost-type moves. Um, I forget what it's called, what will boost ghost-type moves. Give me a moment. I, I, I could give him a ghost gem, but that would only be a one-time thing. Dreadplate? No, dark. That's for dark-type moves. <sighs> Probably black. No, no, not black glasses. Again, thinking, thinking with, <laughs> think ghost type, think ghost type. All right, do I even have anything that's gonna, gonna invoke ghost type? Twisted Spoon, Steel Gem, there we go, Spell Tag. 
Ed has a spell tag. I mean, obviously I could lead out with Victoria, but the thing about ghosts is that they're super effective against each other, so Victoria will always be in danger. So I need to hit hard and hit fast. That's, that's the motto, I suppose. That is the model, I suppose. The tiny but strong trainer looked up at its trainer. The tiny but strong Pokémon looked up at its trainer and saw the seeds of doubt taking root as, together, they faced their toughest opponent yet. The Pokémon sounded a soft cry of reassurance and the battle began. That was part of a novel I wrote. I absolutely love writing about the close bonds between the trainers who come here and the Pokémon they train. Could I use you and your Pokémon as a subject? I don't think I have a choice. Almost sounded like the music wasn't playing because it was starting so low. Alright. Chantal might actually give us some trouble, but I'm here for it. Bring it! And we had a normal type. I could also hit hard with non-normal type moves. Okay, Shadow Claw, let's go. Now obviously I'm gonna use lose my ability by making contact with it. That's fine, I wasn't really using that ability anyway, Shadow Ball. Mm. Okay, Drake, you did not hit that- you did not hit for much. Oh boy, this is bad. I need to hope for a crit. The beginning is always important for both battles and novels. I need to hope for a crit. Because... This is gonna- Oh, thank god. <laughs> thank god. Papagrigus, we- we got rid of it. Frostlass. Obviously, Drake. Frostlass. It's interesting. It's not the greatest Pokémon I am led to believe, but I think it's a unique Pokémon. Female only. Um, it's a ghost. You, uh, oh, crap. Okay, that did less than half. That's good. That's good in my case. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Thank God. Thank God. We're, we're in the money. We're in... And you did not level up. Jellicent, Drake, no, Ed. Ed, Drake is the one who's out and is weak to Jellicent. We're going for Ed. And Ed no longer has the Miracle Seed, but it has same type attack bonus, so hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Seed Bomb, let's go. This might not kill her in one hit, but it should be close. Sludge Wave. You just had to have Sludge Wave. I could have taught her that. Maybe. I is that gonna be low enough that she's going to heal? Probably not. Well, let's see. Either way, it should be going down this turn. Could have gone with red to begin with. Okay, yep, it's that's low enough to trigger a full restore. I was I was teetering because it wasn't in the red; it was in the yellow. But it's still pretty low. It's still pretty low. Oh my god. Um, that did well. Jellicent is probably more specially defensive than physically defensive. That probably explains why Seed Bomb did more. Anyway. Alright. That's half her team down. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good. Chandelier. Definitely don't want Red out for this. We use our own Victoria. Chandelier isn't fast, is it? I hope not. Well, we're about to find out. Surf. Okay, it's fast. But I think Victoria can take this. But just barely. Just barely could take that. Just barely could survive. Come on. One KO. One hit. Nope. Is that low? Come on, come on, come on. Heal, heal. Nope. Did not heal. Okay. That's okay, though. Here we got Adriana. And Adriana is going to be weak to the fire that she has, and yes, she has a powerful fire-type move. But, I'm just going to hope that she's faster. She's faster, that's good. Oh my god, thank, thank god. Okay, I was worried. I was really worried about that. Adriana, let's level up. Okay. Go Lurk! Well, Victoria and Ed are both dead. Suddenly not feeling so good about this. <sighs> we have to go. Let's go. 
It's not immune to Earthquake. We can hit it hard with Earthquake. Even if it's not super effective. It also has Earthquake. But I think that Adriana can survive that. I might be wrong as well. I was wrong. Okay. Suddenly not feeling so good about this. Um, Toot, you're up. Can be hit by Shadow Punch, but it's just a risk we're gonna have to take. Psychic, let's go. Come on. Come on, yes. Okay. And then what's her final Pokemon? Final Pokemon is Drifblim. Um... Red. Okay. That is her- this is gonna be her final, right? I've- I've defeated five from her team. Triple M. Yep. Oh, I guess it's time to start my last chapter. Yeah. I, I, th I think we're gonna be fine. Three against one. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna deal- do a lot of healing after this battle to prepare for the champion, but we're gonna be fine. Um, Shadow Ball. No, we'll be fine. This is not gonna kill us. The epilogue, is the epilogue of the story is about to begin. Does the, would the AI know that it would be a waste to use a full restore? Yep, pretty much. She just knows, okay, screw it. I can't win. I'm done. All right, we did it. I did it. Defeated Elite Four Chantal. Wow, I'm stunned. For all the words I know, I can't figure out how to say this. Putting my feelings into words would just be a trap. All I will say is I'm feel... <sighs> Did not even happen close to enough time to read that last one, that last sentence. Challenger, if you defeat the entire Elite Four of the Pokemon League, you can go on to challenge the champion. And you have earned that right. Your story is yours and yours alone. Please weave a wonderful tale. And we're gonna do that. Go up here and fight the champion, but first, obviously, I am going to heal. And I'm also going to save. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the recording and then I'm gonna save. In case things get hairy. I want to make sure that this recording saves correctly. Alright, we're back. I have picked who I am going to use going into this champion battle. Let's go. Again, no getting out of here unless you are defeated. Or you win. Especially in my case that I just saved. So I can't, I can't rage quit. N hasn't come and defeated the champion this time. We are going to fight Alder. Sometimes they keep the champion a bit of a secret within the story. This time, not so much. They straight up say Alder is the champion. All right. I'm getting tingles. I really am. Here we go. I am grateful for what you did about N. I don't know what he's thinking now, but I'm sure he realizes that different people in Pokemon have their own paths to follow. Say now, how... Say now, how about a match with the strongest trainer in the Unova region? Got the champion theme. And my heart will not stop. Just will not. We're almost done with the game. He leads out with S. Selgor. Now, Alder is a champion who does not really specialize in one specific type. However, I would consider him a borderline bug expert. Half of his team is Bug-type. And they are powerful. I'm leaning out with Drake because he is not weak to anything a Selgor has in his moveset. And also because I can whittle it down with fire. Just like that. Thank God. I was really worried about that, but... As I always am. We got Bouffalant next. I'm gonna keep Drake out for this because, you know, fighting-type. Brick break. And I'm faster, that's good. Bouffalant might survive this, I... I, I fear Bouffalant. There are Pokemon that I fear, and Bouffalant is one of them. And that might be a reason why. Okay. If that is the move you chose after serious consideration, that's fine. It's not going to trigger a, a full restore. Alright, Drake has gotten rid of a third of his team, so that's already good news. Uh, what's next? Escavalier. I don't know why he's sending this out against Drake. Like, it has Aerial Ace, I guess that's the, that's the thought process, but also, it's quad weak to fire. And it's slow as hell, so... Yeah, that's, that's not really... Not really the best move there. 
I was worried about this guy. <laughs> Volcarona, this is his ace. Drake, you're gonna fight to the bitter end. Here we go. Level 77. The highest leveled Pokemon owned by a trainer in this game. It's not the highest one ever. Like, even in Gen 2, you had Red's Pikachu that was 81, up to 88 in Dark Gold and Soul Silver. Alright, Drake, this is gonna be a suicide mission. Let's go. I don't know why you wasted your time on that. You could have used Hyper Beam and not lowered that. Well, also, you would have been vulnerable the next turn, so... Yeah, I, I think Victoria is the best one for this, because I could use Adriana, but she's weak to fire. And I know that Volcarona just depleted some of its special attack, but sometimes it breaks. Victoria is just going to be the best for this. I think she can kill Volcarona in just a couple surfs, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, that's about a third. Yeah, it's, it's using Quiver Dance. It's... That's... that's gonna make it difficult to deal with. Very difficult. Come on. Just need one more, and it might actually survive this next one. Which worries me. Are you just gonna spam Quiver Dance? That... that just makes you more scary. That just makes you more scary. Ugh. You can't hit me with Hyper Beam. Bug Buzz and Overheat won't do much. Oh boy. It's gonna... he's definitely gonna heal, so let's go for the Shadow Ball to... Try to chip some of that. Try to lower that special defense somewhat. Oh boy. That did nothing. Oh boy. I need to hope for a critical. I need to hope for a critical. I need to hope for a critical because it just keeps buffing its special defense. This is like my surfs are doing nothing. But it's only doing Quiver Dance. Like, I know I can't do Hyper Beam. It could do use Overheat and Bug Buzz. Those would both damage Victoria. So I don't know why he doesn't go for those. How many Quiver Dances are we up to? Is that the sixth and final one that's actually going to do something? Well, at least I figured out how to break the AI on this. Go for Waterfall. Maybe that'll do more at this point. This Overheat might actually hurt a little bit because of the buffed special attack. Okay. Okay. Now I am worried about this fight. Okay, Adriana, let's go. Come on. Just pray to God. Yeah, I, I figured this wasn't going to go well. Okay. Yeah, this is... this is bad. Things are getting hairy! Okay. 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 Toot! Need you to be a sacrifice. Need to be a sacrifice while I restore... I... while I restore someone. Come on. Victoria. And it has to be Victoria. He's, he's gonna keep using Overheat and it's gonna keep lowering special attack. Maybe Toots can survive this. She cannot survive this. Okay, so her, her special attack is ba back to base. So Overheat is not gonna do much against Victoria anymore. Let's go for the Waterfall. I avoided the attack, hell yeah! Haven't been boot buffing your physical attack, physical defense. Oh boy. Okay. That was the hard part. I think we should be good for the rest of the battle. Drudagon. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm using Victoria for that. You've got Night Slash, and you might be fast, but I have Blizzard. And I thank God that that hit. I don't need no stinking Ice Beam TM. Oh my God. Oh my god. Come on, Victoria, survive! Survive! Thank you. She listened to what I told her. Oh. <laughs> Blizzard hitting two times in a row! Oh my god, that is amazing. That is wonderful to see. Alright, that's... That's five down. And his last Pokémon is Vanillux. I stand my ground. 
Woo, you're in... <sighs> Too many complex words for me to try to read all at once. Acid armor. Oh, boy. You're gonna be that annoying, aren't you? This is for physical or special defense? Okay, it's for it's for physical, so it's not gonna affect Surf. Thank God. I think I, okay. You're already pretty specially defensive as it is. Oh. Oh. Okay, it does it does have damaging moves. It can use Flash Cannon and Blizzard, and then both of okay. Am I being overpowered? This is nothing. I will overpower you. It's just Shadow Ball and hope for lowering special defense a bit. If I had Drake, I could use Brick Break, but Drake is not here, and I'm not gonna waste a Max Revive to bring him back. Come on. I'm gonna tank Blizzard. No, I'm not. I was really hoping to lower the special defense, but... Oh, Adriana's dead. Um, I am being backed into a corner here, and I don't like it. x Scissor, let's go. So for the best, expect the worst. That's the worst. Okay. It's he's gonna heal. There's no, there's no way he won't. Oh. <laughs> it would have benefited you to heal, but anyway, I win. After the battle, a fresh wind blew through my heart. Use the battle with me. With it. Oh. And you're talking too fast. I can't. I can't read it all. I'm sorry. Well done. You certainly are an unmatched talent. Come with me. Yeah, I wasn't overleveled at all. <laughs> Could have leveled up a little longer, but... But I won. I did have to use a max revive, but... I don't feel shame about that. This room is the Hall of Fame. It exists to commemorate the trainers and Pokémon who have demonstrated their stellar strength and kindness of hearts. Well now, Diane, with your skill and persistence, you have earned your place in this Hall of Fame. Your name, the account of your journey, and the history of your battles will all be recorded here. I hope all of this becomes a support to you and helps you grow stronger. Now, trainer, you and the Pokémon who fought by your side will be recorded in this machine. I would love to be able to talk without squeaking my voice. Okay. We are now officially the champion of Unova. Drake the Embor. Ed the Simi Sage. Victoria the Frillish. Adriana the Excadrill. Toot the Sigilyph. Red the Galvantula. We did it! Took me 42 hours, but I did it. I became the champion. For real this time. There's my ID. Do not steal it. It is an NFT. Yeah, no, it's not. Was more of that supposed to happen, or could I just press A? Anyways, we, we're saving. <laughs> I think we'll be fine, though. I think we will be. I saved the game. So that's not all of Pokemon White. As I've promised, there will be one final post-game video. Because you can't do a couple things before becoming the champion for real. The champion, the actual champion battle will gate off rematches with Bianca and Charon, which is kind of stupid in my opinion because they're they're too low a level to provide a challenge if you can beat the Elite Four rematches. That's just the case. But there are a couple things that I did leave untouched that you can do before a champion rematch. There is the battle with Cynthia at the villa. All another very hard fight and a very infamous fight in the Pokemon fandom. And there's capturing the final legendary that I'm able to capture. Because I can't capture Landorus without a Tornadus. And that legendary is the Ice Dragon Q-Rem. Who, plot-wise, plays more of a role in Black 2 and White 2. But that's neither here nor there. 
Anyway, for getting to the credits a second time, I guess I can spill more thoughts out about the project. I, I've been dragging my feet with the post-game stuff, and a part of that is because I'm not usually one to really play that much of the post-game. Like, I'm satisfied usually when I get to the, the champion, and then I'll go through the post-game stuff at least once, maybe, try to fill in holes in the Pokedex. Like, I have other games I want to play. I had more time to do Pokedex stuff like this when I was, like, a teenager, but now I'm an adult and I I have a massive backlog. <laughs> but, uh, but I am happy to do this for, like, in a Let's Play setting dedicated to Brian, as I have been saying. I, I, I can't believe that it's almost over. Now, I do have to wait for the weekend to hit before I can actually record that final post-game video, and I'm recording this on a Monday, so it's going to be a little bit, but I'm going to make it happen. So, thanks for watching the penultimate episode of the Pokemon White Project. I'm going to end this off next time with some rematches, a new match all on its own, and attempting that final legendary Pokemon. Take care.